That's funny. I I went to a I was at a penguin game once and they have these little blimp things that drop uh, oh, yeah. prizes and one was coming right down to me. Somebody knocked me over and it turned out to be a, literally a free a coupon for a free loaf of bread. <laughs> We're killing each other for bread. For bread. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Uh, <laughs> Brad, you're up next. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have anything better than killing them, killing each other for a loaf of killing bread. Killing for bread. <laughs> killing for bread would sound. It sounds like a good rock band name. <laughs> sounds like a budgie album. <laughs> killing for bread. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Donut Bag, part of the Pod Hub Network. In this episode, I do another fantasy draft episode. This time, the subject is fantasy rock concert. If you could have any three bands play in one night, who would it be? I welcome back Brad Reyes, Mark Hagelauer, and Kyle Senra. We have a pretty good time. The Donut Bag starts right now. All right, so now to do another segment on our fantasy draft format this time we're going to do a fantasy rock concert draft and with me are three guys that we've had on before you guys are kind of like my uh, the, the music experts you're the uh you're the, you're the music team yeah um, um almost like our own band yeah <laughs> yeah um with me is Brad Reyes, he's mean Mr. Mode, um, play draft analyst for the Quant, e- Quant Edge. Oh, you're a fantasy for so, so you've you've done a lot of uh, fantasy uh, football stuff, huh, Brad? Yeah, I, I do a lot of fantasy drafts. I'm actually going to be hosting a uh, another podcast, uh, the Best Ball Owners Manual for uh, it's a best ball format um, for football. Um, podcast I'm putting together with some other uh, guys who are inter- interested in fantasy football too. Okay, what's best ball, real quick? Um, best ball is where you don't op- you don't use a bench. You just get the best um, player that you have in your entire team. Like you pick an entire eighteen team, eighteen player team. There's no bench, but like the top, uh, like certain players at your positions will score for you no matter what if they got hurt or not. So you don't get like destroyed by like a, a quarterback going down for you or something. Okay, okay. It's pretty much a lazy guy's version of uh, fantasy football, and I love it. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Um, and regular Mark Hagelauer. Good Hello. evening, sir. Good evening. And Kyle Senra at <laughs> Niama underscore KS, writer for Going for Two, Flurry Sports. FP coverage, musician for Niamh and I am sound. Kyle, what what um, instruments do you play? Uh, so my primary instrument is guitar, but I can play a whole lot of others. Uh, I play drums. Uh, I learned to play saxophone in high school. I learned to play clarinet in university. Uh, keyboards is a must for any musician. I uh, um, I can't do any of those things. Band. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, <laughs> if only, if only like, I could play them all at the same time. It could be no, like, yeah. uh, um, what's his face? Uh, oh, Ed Sheeran. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if I, I could think... be, if I could be compared to Ed Sheeran, that'd be pretty good. I think that <laughs> did something right. I was waiting for somebody to groan or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay, so yeah, we'll the the the. The concept is we're going to, if you had your own fantasy rock concert, fantasy festival, we're each going to pick three bands, and then I'm going to put this up to a vote. So, by random draw, Kyle, you are first. All right, so are we kicking off right now? Yep. This is the Roger Goodell announcement, the first overall pick. (laughs) So off, uh, I would say I was about to say camera, but off. Uh, but just before we were recording, we talked about the uh, the Greta Van Fleet band and how everyone said, "Oh, they so often sound like Led Zeppelin." It's not that uncommon for bands to want to sound like Zeppelin. I remember uh, uh, Wolf Mother 
when they came out about a yeah. decade ago, it was the same type of thing. Oh yeah, this is the Zeppelin rock, right? And I feel like ever since Zeppelin, probably Zeppelin two came out, every band's been trying to sound like them. And I think the fact that people are going to be voting on this, if there's any band rock band in the world that anyone could see, it would probably be Zeppelin for most people's list. I think uh, mm. having the good luck of the random draw, I bestowed upon me the first overall pick. I think I have to take Zeppelin. I well, can't, God. Well, can't argue that. Yeah. <laughs> really nothing to argue about sorry yeah that no. yeah you can't you can't argue there i i would imagine they 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 were amazing live yeah i would i never got the chance probably never will well i remember about 20 years ago it was just plant and page and they were doing some led zeppelin songs and that was awesome yeah, yeah. i've seen that dvd actually not, not too long ago i watched it so uh, it unleaded called? no on un- oh yeah uh, okay i think it was I think that the album was called uh, No Quarter or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that that was really good. But I, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know why they don't they don't really get together anymore. I think it's I think the I think Plant might be the uh, the 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 biggest reason for that. I don't think he wants to do it anymore or something. I mean, at this point, they've all earned enough money. I think I think, and I uh, he's still. Not too long ago, it was with a country singer. Uh, so, Allison Krauss. Yeah, that's right. So mm. I think they're well enough off that they don't need to keep touring. I think they're all smart enough eventually about their money to kind of set themselves up for this and you know do what what you want, not when you feel like you have to. Right. Like, unfortunately, a lot of bands still have to tour today to, to keep feeding themselves. Yep. All right, Brad, it's uh, you're up. Well, I think I'm going to go with a pretty obvious pick for number two, and that's going to be the Beatles. Um, you know, if I could see a band uh, live again or live at all ever, would be it would definitely be the Beatles because they broke up before I was born. But in- individually, I've you know we've had Paul McCartney and uh, whatnot growing up. So yeah, I really like the Beatles as my uh, first pick here. You can't no brainer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean. Depending on your quality, like your your what, what kind of taste of music you have, but seeing all four of them live uh, together would be pretty impressive. Weren't they too popular though? Like when they would play live, they would like be drowned out by screaming <laughs> right. girls, and yeah. they, you couldn't hear them, and they couldn't hear each other. And right, I mean, they I mean to this day they're really not known for being a live band, almost entirely because of the riots they caused. Right, <laughs> right. So, yeah. Did you see um, it was one of those carpool karaoke things, but it was with Paul McCartney. They did one a couple of months ago and it was the coolest thing. It was actually like it was in England and he and he went to a lot of the places where he grew up. And, I like, saw that. Like, yeah, I like yeah. some of the inspirations for a song. And they just happened to g- play like go to some pub and people didn't even know. <laughs> That it was just like, oh, and then the curtain opens up. It's like, oh, here's Paul McCartney in the band. And he was, yeah. he was playing Beatles songs. It, it was the coolest thing. It was, it was uh, really cool. Well, here's another part of it. Think of the added value with all the, like, I can roll in wings. I could get, you know, like yeah. George Harrison sing- <laughs> singles. You know? you know, so it really, it really comes out nice. I get Imagine from uh, Paul McCartney, uh-huh. yeah, from yeah. John Lennon. Oh, God, I always say something stupid like that. But yeah. Yoko. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can we can have some Yoko. Oh, Ringo, can, Ringo can, Ringo can do something. <laughs> Ringo can get food. You know, Ringo is you know he's, he could be like a little you know like a little sorbet in between, like when you need to to Close give the folks a break. You know, you just have him come <laughs> on and sing uh you know whatever it is about you know octopuses gardens and or, or, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he did yellow summer. Ringo start. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow submarine. Uh, I'm Ringo. thinking the Beatles are just like an enormous value in terms of the kind of band you can lop on here. So I, I think right. it's right. pretty solid number two option. There you go. There you go. It probably right, couldn't Mark. have been a better one two combo. Zeppelin Beatles figured those would go <laughs> uh, to the top two. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, Let's see how the rest of the first round goes. Mark, what do you got? Yeah, this is where it gets tricky now. <laughs> it's like you got those bands. Um, you know, it all depends on your taste of music and everything. But, uh, Oh, let me see here. I think 
maybe just because of the nostalgia of it and never getting to see him live, but I don't know if this would count or not, but uh, Jimi Hendrix experience. Sure. Nice. Yeah. Just because of him, pretty much because of him, but I'm thinking of an opening band come out if they're the first if he's the first one to play let him do his national anthem and everything did he do a lot of live stuff or like i, I mean did he tour yeah. a lot I, I guess i just I'm, i know he's famous for woodstock but yeah I, i've i've seen a lot of his uh touring video, of footage, videos really? and whatnot. yeah okay. yeah a lot of different band combinations it wasn't always noel redding and mitch mitchell there was a few other guys it just seemed like uh hmm especially recording electric ladyland i've seen a few documentaries on it It seemed like even when they were recording albums they would still go out and play gigs in new york every night pretty much just any clubs they could so yeah i yeah. think he, yeah. he goes he goes down as a pretty good live act yeah the thing yeah, the no. thing about um jimmy is if you have him on your uh uh, on your concert stage, you have to uh, get fire extinguishers because they'll <laughs> set the guitar on fire. Well, I mean, the insurance costs alone. Right, right. <laughs> you you got to do that with great white, too, you know? Oh, oh, I was just gonna say, you better not open oh, for man. Oh, that <laughs> too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> Beat me to the punch. It's only, it's only been 30 years. That's all. Oh, man. I'm, I, get, I get mad when I hear a great white song on the on the radio. I mean, I know it's not <laughs> they didn't plan on that, but that's still I get mad that that whole that whole thing. But I didn't, I didn't mean to like to reopen an old wound like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I can't believe my my number one pick is actually still out yeah. there. And I'm, I think I know where you're going with this. Going with Queen. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I can't, believe I, overlooked, I can't believe I overlooked them, actually. <laughs> hey, I, well, I mean, you can't go wrong with with Jimmy or the Beatles or, or Led Zeppelin. So, yeah, I got I got Queen. Just, I I am still uh, because of the movie. I just I I still listen to Queen all the time now, especially the Live Aid performance. I like like have that memorized. But my okay, so now in, into the second round, I have the uh, the next pick, and. I'm gonna go Metallica. Um, they're well, my personal I favorite. Going first, but... <laughs> yeah, um, they're my Another personal thing. favorite. I've seen them live a whole bunch of times, and and I love them. So that's where I'm going. All right, Mark, you are up next. Back to me. All right. Um, geez, yeah, I can't. I'm kind of shocked I overlooked Queen. I should have had that, but uh, you know, I like Jimmy, but um. Next, uh, I think I'm gonna go. You know, keeping it, yeah, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go with Black Sabbath. Nice. Mm. Um, I just, I'm a big fan. I've seen them a few times. Granted, they were aged, but one of my favorite concerts I saw Pantera open for Black Sabbath, and that was one of my <laughs> my nice. most, most favorable yeah, experiences. That must have been amazing. That was, that was unbelievable. And I also got hit in the face with a drumstick during that. <laughs> a Vinnie Paul drumstick. <laughs> Vinnie Paul funny, drumstick. Funny I must have hit story, hard. So. We're like in the fifth row, and it's the end of the concert, and he thro- Vinnie throws both of his R.I.P. Vinnie Paul. And I have to say it since the mm-hmm. Grammys forgot him. But uh, they th- he throws both drumsticks up, and me and my friend are like eight rows apart. We had a big group of people there. He catches one of them. I look up, and the other one's coming down to me, and it's like I'm fielding a punt. It's like coming right into my arms. The guy in front of me jumps up above my arms. He knocks it, and it reverses its, uh, I guess, spin. And it smacked me in the tooth. Ouch! And then it landed <laughs> on the ground and rolled, like, two rows ahead of me. I didn't ever got it. And I, look oh. over, and I look over, my friend, like, has, he's holding it up, and he's like, what happened? He's like, <laughs> and I'm bleeding. I thought I'd chip my tooth. I had a bloody lip. And he's like, did you try and catch it with your mouth? <laughs> <It's> like, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dick you one in front of me like jumped up and just reversed. You, you you called for a fair catch, so that's 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 a penalty. Exactly, right there. exactly. I'm like, how do you not give it to me? I'm like bleeding from my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, but yeah, it was a, that was a pretty fun concert. That, was, that, was, that must have been the refs that did the Saints Rams game. That, we, <laughs> that <was crazy. laughs> yeah, exactly. That's fun. I, I went to a <laughs> I was at a Penguin game once, and they have these little blimp things that drop. Uh, oh yeah prizes and one was coming right down to me somebody knocked me over and it turned out to be a, a, literally a free a coupon for a free loaf of bread <laughs> we're killing each other for bread <laughs> for bread that's crazy yeah 
Anyway, okay. Uh, <laughs> Brad, you're up next. 